Oh no! Not the Briar Patch! Howdy, I'm Don Gilmore, pipe maker of Don Warren Pipes. I'd like to welcome you to part two of the Briar Patch. In part one, we discussed what is Briar, how does it grow, where does it grow, uh, what does a root ball look like. In part two, we're going to talk about some of the regional differences between the Briars from Algeria, Italy, and Greece. So um, let's get started. In Briar Basics Part 1, I explained that pipe briar comes from the root burl or briar root ball of the Mediterranean heather tree. I'm going to show you once again the illustration of what the root ball looks like and then we'll move on to what happens once it's been harvested. Now once the root ball is dug up, it's cut into block shapes. These block shapes can be from the outer part of the root ball, which is called plateau. Here's still the bark on the uh, rough surface of this block. Or a block can be cut beneath the plateau, it's then called a Yubishan, and it can come in several different shapes. The Yubishan here is rectangular, here it's cut for making a straight pipe, here it's cut for making a, a bent pipe, this would be the top of the bowl here and the shank coming up like that, or it can be a straight or semi-bent block. A variation on the plateau and Yubishan block shapes, something called a carré. This is a small rectangular block used for making removable bowls, so it doesn't need to have a shank. This would be a Yubishan carré, and this would be a plateau carré. One of the variations between the Grecian, Italian, and Algerian briar a slight variation in color. As you can see, the Grecian briar here is much darker red, almost a reddish brown, than the Italian, which is a light, almost pinkish uh, flesh tone, and the Algerian, which is a light tan without the pink. Another difference between Algerian briar, which is a, a light tan as opposed to that flesh tone pink, is that it tends to have a coarser grain than the Italian blocks. You can see a much finer grain there. You can see how coarse it looks on this side of the Algerian block as opposed to the Italian block, which has a very nice tight grain. Now, any given block from any region can be an exception to the rule, but generally the Algerian briar is slightly more dense than the Italian. It has a coarser grain. Um, the Grecian, which I mentioned earlier, is a darker, almost reddish brown. Um, it is even more dense than the Algerian. Um, and so you, if you had two blocks of the same size, the Grecian pipe made out of that block would be heavier than one made out of Italian or uh, Algerian. One other difference in terms of smoking qualities is that the Grecian briar has uh, a slightly resinous undertone that it adds to your tobacco. And a lot of smokers find this very pleasant. Uh, I haven't noticed much of a difference in the smoking quality between the Italian and the Algerian. I've made lots of pipes out of both. Uh, customers think they uh, break in well and smoke well and I get a lot of positive feedback. Now as you can see, uh, 
these blocks are often very irregularly shaped with uh, cutouts on them. The rectangular block has a big diagonal cutout here on one corner. There was probably a major flaw that the uh, block cutter cut out. There's a little ding there. And this is part of the plateau here uh, that's in there. So the pipe maker has to take a look at this. The grain is running crosswise in this. After the briar burl has been cut into blocks, either Plateau, Yubishan, or Carré, the blocks are boiled for several hours to remove resins from the wood. After they've been boiled, they're put in sacks and naturally air dried for years. Uh, the, more, the longer they're dried, the better they are for pipe making the more stable they'll be once uh, the pipe begins to be smoked. So I hope that has answered some of your questions about what briar is, where it comes from, how it's grown, and some of the variations in uh, blocks used to make pipes and the qualities uh, imparted to the pipe by the various uh, briars from different regions. So thank you very much for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much.